Hi guys and welcome to your daily tower reading for Monday the 25th of November 2019. It's a pleasure to be with you today. Thank you for joining me. I'm using the Gilded Tarot again. Let's have a look at what these cards want you to be aware of. I hope you had a lovely weekend. I hope that if anyone betrayed you or you feel like people have gone behind your back or someone has cheated on you and really, really hurt you and you feel betrayed, then first of all, let go of that energy. Not all of you may be feeling that, but some of you will. Just take a deep breath and exhale. Just do it one more time. Just take a deep breath and exhale. And as I'm shuffling the cards, I just set the intention. What is the energy of Monday? The 25th of November going to be about who's going to be knocking on our doors, what's going to be happening, and what should we be aware of? Okay. So, let's see. Right, I'm really in a very uh, emotional state, so I'm seeing everything as symbolic. The sun on the back of these, I know it's the back of the card, it's a memory that you are the center of the universe, and I don't mean it in a in a arrogant way, but you are a part of the universe, you're not separate from it, and you deserve every good thing in the world. You have a capacity to love, and that is the most important thing to remember, okay? So even if you were hurt this weekend, this is a new day. First of all, we've got the sun, and the sun is you. It's the center of the universe. I was just saying that. You are, you are happy. You're empowered today. You feel like you're at the center. People are paying attention to you. People are circling around you and they want to be near you because you're so warm and loving and happy and you're completely able to put away the energy of Sunday and you really you know some days you wake up and you feel exactly the same as you did when you went to bed some days you have a good night's sleep and you wake up as a completely different person today is one of those days you wake up you feel like you're a giant fireball full of energy and other people will want some of that love and energy. So you couldn't start the week any better. Confidence, happiness, gratitude, enthusiasm, strength, belief in yourself. Those are all things that you have on Monday. You don't need to strive for them. You have them. You're just given them. And as I said that, it was 333 on the video. So the universe is working deliberately to give you that energy for a reason. And the reason is the Page of Swords. And the Page of Swords is someone who's just enrolled in the court and who's going to learn the rules of the court and how to behave. And how to dress. So you have this energy to start something new. If I want to learn French today, I'm really going to have to buzz myself up, rev myself up, and um, enroll with um, Ecole Française or something, and then actually go there and realize that all the other kids are like, what, 20? I'm one of the mature students, and I'm really going to have to speak French to a tutor, and I'm really going to have to do it. That's something new. And in my experience, to be honest, I mean, I read a lot. I read a lot, a lot, a lot. But I've noticed that the older I get, the more I compartmentalize and I know what I'm interested in and what I'm not interested in. And I often don't um, start something new because 
I just feel like, oh, I'm not going to fit in. Or do I have the power to do it? Am I strong enough? Do I have the money to go through all of the course? Do I have um, the, the temperament to be able to operate in a court environment, for instance? It's all of those doubtful questions when you first start a new job or a new position in life or and when you become a father or a mother, there's no manual that suddenly pops out of the universe. And it's like, here you go, parent manual. It's when you're born, you don't get born with a little book of how you're supposed to behave, do you? So today you have infinite energy and you're able to become young again in the sense of your mind. So youth in the mind is associated with being teachable and being willing to learn and being open-minded and not being, you know, the first time you say something in French, like the first, like when I learned English, I was 10, my sister, no, nine, eight, something like that. Um, we went to Botswana and because we couldn't speak any German, um, English, the, they were teaching assistants and they took us aside, my sister and I, and they taught us English in this little room, just the two of us by ourselves. And English is really, the, the German, the words are spelt the way you say them, but in English, they're not. So I would say the knight of swords, because there's a K in front of knight. So I'd say the knight of swords, and especially with languages, once you get older, you don't want to make a fool of yourself and be embarrassed like that. And today you have the strength to not care about anything like that, because that's a part of learning a new language, for instance, or starting anything new. That you're going to screw up something because you're going through the learning process. So don't be put off because the job is too big and you're like, oh, oh, yeah, yeah, this is going to take me a year. It's worth it. Seriously, don't try and wing it. Don't try and like conserve your energy or. Don't reject opportunities, doorways of opportunities when they appear to you today because they just seem like they don't pay you enough or they don't offer you enough. It's a really good idea to actually take something new on board. And finally, we have the page of cups. And not only are you going to learn about ideas, thinking, communication in the courts, how to decide, how to fight how to assert yourself, how to stand up for yourself, but you're also completely getting in touch with your feelings. And the sun is a fire element that's masculine. The page of swords is an air element that's masculine. And the page of cups is water that's feminine. So this is a day for all the people who identify themselves as alphas, I think, or people who are really, really alpha types, and they're just about success, power, winning, sport, competition. A lot of people like that. A lot of people like that do not watch this channel. By the way, I saw again, 44% of the people who watch my videos are not subscribed. That is an outrage. Please fix that. If you're one of those 40 something percent, please, please, please hit the subscribe button. It just kills me that half of the people that watch me don't subscribe. It would be so easy and it would make such a huge difference to my life. So please subscribe. This is for the day. This is a day for the people who don't like owning up to the fact that they have emotions and feelings too, like the rest of us. This is for the Stoics. This is for the people who just work, work, work. And once they, they do 80 hour weeks for three years and they end up in the mental hospital and you go visit them and you say, how are you doing? And they're like, yeah, I'm fine. I'm going back to work on Monday. It's those kind of people who are afraid of their feelings in a way and just distract themselves from their own feelings by competing, by getting into arguments by being on stage and having applause and adoration. Those are all things, or taking drugs. Those are all things which keep you away from your feelings and only focus on moving forward and moving ahead. Feelings are everything. Feelings are the past. Feelings are 
loves that you had in the past. Feelings are the feelings you have about yourself right now or about the future. So anyone who is disconnected from themselves today, you have the power, the opportunity to learn how to connect with your own emotions, your own thoughts, and to understand who you really are and how you want to grow and who you want floating around you and who you don't. So it's time to self-actualize. You have the power to become whoever you want to be today because you absolutely understand yourself. Orange is the sacral chakra. It's control. Blue, I know it's an air sign, but blue to me is feelings and emotion. And this, the 19th card of the major arcana, black, absorbs all the negativity, allows you to feel your feelings and think your thoughts and gives you the control over those feelings and thoughts so that you can walk through another door and actually make things, plant the plants, create the archway, do the metal work, design the clothing. It's about understanding, having the information and then implementing it. 19 and 1 is 20 and 1 is 21. 2 and 1 is 3. 3 in numerology is like the empress in the tarot. It's about giving birth. It's about a new beginning. It's about being loving and nurturing. And you're being loving and nurturing to yourself here because you're starting something for yourself, not for your granny, for you. Three is also about making decisions, the way you think, communication. And that's at the center here. And it's interesting because in terms of the astrology, we have Mercury, the communication planet, in a water sign, Scorpio. So it's interesting here that the air sign, swords, have blue because the way you think is blue. You think, you're thinking emotionally at the moment. And that's good in combination with the sun because the sun actually gives you the fuel you need to then implement it in reality. Have a lovely, lovely start to the week. It looks great. It looks like you can assert yourself. You can really make changes that will serve you for a long, long time. Have a wonderful day. If you would like a personal reading with me, please get in touch via the website, gregoryscott.com, and click on the book your readings button on the front page. Or click on the shops tab to order your reading with me there. In my personal readings, I use the tarot, astrology and numerology, as well as my intuition. I'm an intuitive astrologer. So I look at the symbols. I can see what your life purpose is, what your vocational aptitudes are, where you've been in past lifetimes and what your strengths and weaknesses are, where you ought to live, what the best place is for you to live, when moving is ideal. But I also listen to my intuition and as I look at the symbols, I get messages from spirits and I pass those along to you as well. So if you would like to have some answers, if you're at a crossroads, if you need to make a big decision, I'm always here. Just get in touch with me, gregoryscott.com. Have a fabulous start to the week and I'll speak to you tomorrow.